Hello everyone and welcome to this tips and tricks video for my time at Porsche. I hope to be able to show you a lot of different interesting things about this game, so here we go. One of the aspects of the game that can often prove to be tricky is taming llamas. And understandably so, the little mini game that happens and the actual capture and raising of them can be a little confusing to some people. So let's go over it step by step. First let's start at the work table. There are two different types of traps that you can use in order to capture a llama. The first is down here, the standard trap box. These are good for capturing the colorful llamas, your standard low-level llamas. Uh, and they're fairly easy to build with only two wooden boards and a single spring. The second type of trap box is down here, the advanced trap box. This one is intended to uh, not only make it easier to capture mounts, but also give the ability to capture the cotton llama, uh, which is a better quality mount than the colorful llama. So let's go over each one of these traps and the best way to handle them. The place you're going to be capturing your llamas is right here. It's right outside your fence line on the opposite end of the road. This is what a standard box looks like when you have it set up in that little ghostly spot that's right outside your area. If you approach it, you can see that we currently have insufficient items to get anything, capture any particular llama at all. And also the E capture menu comes up. We bring up the capture menu, and as you can see, we have options to be able to capture. Now this is the standard bait required for the colorful llama. That's three lettuce and one cumin. The minute I place these in there, it will be set up and I'll be able to capture a llama. This here is the, co uh, is the cotton llama and your standard trap box won't capture these. It requires an advanced trap box. So for our first example, we're going to go ahead and go with just a colorful llama. I've added the bait. As you can see, it is now deployed. And now we simply have to wait for our llamas to get caught. Okay, as you can see, we have caught a llama. Let's go ahead and approach it and see how this mini game works. Now, as you see, when we get up close, you have um, above its head, you see a little cumin symbol. Now, this could also end up being lettuce, but what it's asking for right now is for you to feed it cumin. Uh, and as you can see, that we have the two options there. The right, uh, right mouse button is to tame, the left mouse button is, is to feed. We're going to go ahead and feed it, so one. Now, as you can see, it is currently unhappy. Uh, but it's not angry. There's actually five different levels of that little smiley face that's above the cage there. Uh, there's red, which is angry. There's uh, this, which is unhappy. Let me feed it one more time. There's the yellow, which is neutral. And as you can see, I'm feeding it cumin because that's what it asked for. There is the happy, which is, of course, the light green there. And then one more time. The ecstatic, or what are the super happy? <laughs> uh, now you want to have it at this level because um, the higher the happiness level uh, that you can achieve, the better that you can tame them. So let's go ahead and tame it now, and watch for the mini game. What the heck? There we go. Uh, this is not as easy as it seems. But you want to press the buttons just as the... Just as the circle... Whoops! Just as the circle is touching the, the, the thing itself. As you can see, I'm not particularly good at the game myself. <laughs> and that ought to do it. 
simple. You don't have to be absolutely perfect at the minigame. You simply have to get it up to a level uh, that the llama wants you to be. Let's try it again, and this time let's look closer at the minigame itself. As you can see, I have went ahead and re-prepped this llama, so let's try and tame it again, and this time let's really look at all the aspects of this minigame. Now if you look at the top, you can see that there is a score b uh, bar there. I'm not going to do this right now. Um, and you can also see that there's a little horsey symbol or a llama symbol at the top. That's where you want to get your score to, uh, to, to match up to. Let's go ahead and hit some of these and start gaining some of the... As you can see, the bar is progressing. And we need to get it to the level that is indicated. Now, this can be very tricky. The timing on this is uh, takes some practice. So if you don't get it the first time, don't worry. As you can al also see, there is a timer on how long you have to do this. But also, as you can see, I went beyond what that horse level asked it for. I, I keep saying horse, but I mean llama. Uh, it, it's as, as, as long as you can get the taming level to that particular um, llama level there, you will capture the llama. When you fed the llama its favorite food, which in this case was cumin, you basically lowered the bar on what this uh, llama required for you to get on the minigame. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I went ahead and reloaded the same day with the same llama. As you can see, it has changed. Now it wants lettuce instead of cumin. Typically the choices that the llama wants are one of the bait foods that you put in. In this particular case with the trap box, <laughs> see, what it, uh, see that? It changed it again. Now it wants cumin again. You have to be careful to really pay attention to this because the bait can actually change. So you want to <laughs> see that? See how it changes depending on which direction you're, you're facing it at? I believe it's a glitch in the game, but we'll work with it for now. And having reset the game, let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. If I were to try to tame this thing right now without feeding it, As you can see, the mini game gets harder. Now I have ASWD, and it's a lot trickier to get the timing down. And also, you can see that the amount of points I'm getting for successful isn't as high. So the game becomes a lot trickier to be able to complete. Now, these are still colorful llamas, which means they're going to be fairly easy compared to the cotton llama. But the game gets trickier. Oh, and you can see that it's kind of popping all over the place instead of just directly above and directly below. It's kind of giving you lots of combinations. Again, I was successful. But as you can see, if you don't feed them properly and don't make them happy, the minigame can get considerably harder to complete. Let's try the Cotton Llama next. That one is much harder. Now, in order to do the Advanced Trap, it doesn't really require too much more than what the Standard Trap takes. You come over to the, uh, to the Capture menu, click on the, uh, the Cotton Llama, and you make sure that you have two Roma Apples, two regular Apples, and a Golden Ginseng. We'll go ahead and place that down. There we go, and now we just have to wait. And as you can see, our efforts have paid off, and we have a cotton llama trapped in our advanced trap. So, this particular guy is a little bit trickier to deal with. So, if you come up here, you'll notice that up, uh, up above his head there is a little apple. Sometimes it'll show up as, as, as a ginseng, like I'm currently holding, uh, but don't be, don't be fooled. It's not golden ginseng that this guy wants. He wants apples but not any, uh, any old apples. If you try to feed him the regular apples, 
he'll actually stay angry and his, uh, his happiness will not change whatsoever. You have to use aroma apples in order to improve uh, his uh, particular happiness. It's the only thing he takes. So let's go ahead and feed him once. And as you can see, he's not a, we didn't even go to the uh, red unhappy face. It went to yellow unhappy face. He really likes these aroma apples. Let's keep feeding him. Oh, we're at the little uh, neutral face now. Give him another. We're up to the smiley face and one more and we are at maximum happiness. I'll go ahead and give him one more because I like treating my llamas nice. You definitely want to make sure that the cotton llama is fully happy and fully fed before you try to tame this creature. Trying to do it without having his happiness at maximum is almost impossible. You can do it, it's possible, but man, you better be quick on your fingers because it can really be a hassle. So let's give this cotton llama a try. He's fully fed up, his happiness is at maximum. Let's tame this guy. Once again, you can see that the llama marker is still there. We still have the, oh, I'm not paying attention here. Uh, the, the game is still difficult, don't get me wrong. It is not easy at all to do this mini game. Uh, the, you're still dealing with a, a WASD, whoops. But they don't come fa as fast and furious as they do uh, if you don't feed them, whoops, if you don't feed them first. Sorry, this is requiring a lot of, uh, Concentration my, on my part here. <laughs> ah. And there you go. One cotton llama made to order. And that's all there is to it. That's all it takes to get both types of llamas. I hope this has been helpful for you and that you're now able to get your own type of llama. And if it has, please do the liking and the subscribing and the sharing on the social media. You guys are the best fans in the world. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on! And I just realized that the llama took a poop while I was recording. Huh. Typical.